Hello, my name is Mrs. Streck and I am a math teacher in the Nina Joint School District and I wanted to pop on and show you um, a fun way that you could play a math game with your child um, to talk to them about ways to identify numbers and think about greater than or less than. And so um, the game you probably know as war. Um, so if a player is on each side of the deck, um, you would each flip over your card, determine who has more, and that person gets to keep that card. So you can continue to do this work, and then at the end, um, figure out who has the most. If your child, it feels as if they're able to do these well, um, you can um, raise the expectations and make it a little more challenging by drawing um, two cards. If that feels like that jump is too high, then one strategy would be to um, look through the cards and make both of your um, tens digit a one. And then from the one, now when you pick your cards, now you have 18 and your child has 15, which one's more? And if the aces are hard, you could even just draw a one in that spot for the 10 spot and then... Um, so if this feels like that's too difficult for you, then just grab a marker and say that the first number is going to be a one and, um, okay. So now we have 18 and 15, oh, 18 is more. All right. Now we have 14 and you can make a decision about this 10, right? Do we want to say that it's 10 and 10 more, or do we want to say that it's 14 and 18? Um, so those are different ways that you can work with your child to make sure that they understand um, quantity. And then, you know, seeing this helps them to say, okay, so I know that that's 10 and 8 more. So that makes 18. And, you know, some of your children are going to actually count each space individually to make sure that they have um, exactly 18 and, and let them give them the time to do that because that helps to build what we call conceptual understanding. So it's not memorizing that a one and an eight together make 18, but it's this idea of, oh, 18 means something. 18 means 10 and eight more. I replaced this zero in the 10 with an eight. And as adults, uh, you know, we're able to know that. That feels like something that should just be um, common knowledge, but for children, they're learning those things. And so for us to have um, different tools to help them to see that will really set them up to be successful as they progress in more difficult math learning and uh, as you watch your child go through the years of education um, I think you'll be surprised at just how quickly they do move through some of those those new skills and so having a solid foundation of being able to say I know that this symbol means eight I know that eight actually means eight of this and then being able to figure out where eight goes in a number line or how much eight is will really help them um, especially as they grow in years and then they start thinking about decimals and they know that if eight is the whole number there's a whole slew of numbers in between eight and nine um, so all of this work that might seem a bit basic or unnecessary um, for them being so small it really is important for children to see both the number and the quantity. So I appreciate you for finding tools around your home that could allow you to try out games such as war with them. Um, as I said about putting the one here, if your child is ready to work in the 20s or the 30s, you could just keep changing this first one. Um, so something to think about if you feel like your child has progressed past just thinking about individual numbers, right, eight versus two, um, another thing you could do after you do the war is have them place these sort of like make a, a number line underneath. So, okay, two is close to the beginning, eight is close to the end. Um, then I have five and nine. Okay, five is more than two, but it's less than eight. Um, and oh, nine, that's more than eight. And they could start ordering their numbers and using words like more than, less than, a little bit more than, a lot more than, much less than. So um, 
all of those math language words can really be helpful for your child to start to understand um, the relativity and the way that numbers build upon each other. That five has three more symbols than two. So five is three more than two. Again, those are things that feel so natural for us as adults, but for children, those are all skills that they're still learning. So supporting them in that can really set them up to be really great mathematicians. Have a good day.